Welcome back guys. So in this tutorial, we will once again be trying to find out the network address, the broadcast address, the first usable host, the last usable host, and the number of usable host addresses given a particular IP address. But this time, instead of being given the subnet mask, we have been given the prefix mask. So the prefix mask and the subnet mask are the same way of representing the same information. Right, what the prefix mask tells you is how many bits from left to right will serve as our network bits and how many bits will serve as our host bits, right? So if the prefix mask is 26, that just tells us that the first 26 bits of this address is actually my network address and the last six bits will be my host bits all right so let's first try and figure out the subnet for this prefix mask so if, if the prefix mask is 26 that means that there are apparently 26 ones so we'll just write out 26 ones over here so eight ones in the first octet eight ones in the second octet, eight ones in the third octet, then we have two ones followed by six zeros. Followed by six zeros, so If we write the decimal representation of this, it's just going to be 255 for the first octet, 255 for the second octet, 255 for the third octet, and 192 for the fourth octet, right? So the subnet for this will be 255, the 255, 255, 192. Right, so now we are going to have to find out the network address, and for this, uh, what we can do is write the binary representation of this IP address, uh, but we don't really need to do it for all of the octets because in the last tutorial we, sh we saw that whenever we have 255, whatever we had initially, this was repeating. So for the first octet, it's just going to be 202. For the second octet, once again, we have 255, so it's just going to be 84. For the third octet, we once again have a 255, so it's just going to be 45. So for the fourth octet, we are just going to do a calculation because we do not have 255 over here. We have uh, 192. And here we have 224. So let's just write the binary representation of 224, which is going to be... 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So three ones followed by five zeros. So over here, what we're going to do is write the binary for 192. That's just 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Right, so if we carry on bitwise ending, we will see that my network address is just going to be 202.84.45.192. Great, now we have our network address, which is 202.84.45.192. Right, so for the broadcast address, what we have to do is turn all the Post bits for my network address to all ones. Right, so if our prefix mask is 26, so that basically just tells us that there are six host bits, right? So this last Six bits over here will be our 
host bits. So if we turn all the host bits to one, what we will be getting is one, 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 one. So that's apparently 255, right? So I converted all my host bits to one. So my broadcast address is going to be 202.84.45. Right, the first usable host is just going to be the host immediately after the network address, so that's going to be 202.84.45.193, sorry, 193, and the last usable host is going to be the address right before my broadcast address, so that's going to be 202.84.45.193. Right, and the number of usable host addresses, since I have over here six host bits, so the different combinations I can write this six bits in is 2 to the power 6, that is 64, and two of these addresses I cannot use because one goes to the network address and one goes to being the broadcast address. So. It's 64 minus 2, which is just going to be 62. So the number of usable host addresses is going to be 62. Right, so now we're done with our work. Thank you for watching.